It has been a major cold snap for the last two weeks. And if you remember when I took delivery of my car, I didn't put my license plate frame or my license plate on the front of the car because I didn't want them to drill into the front. And um, this is kind of important because I just got a kit and it's called the Law. And I'll show it to you. So it looks like this. You get this plate like this and another one in here and some basic instructions and all the hardware required to install it. And this is made by a company called Torque Lift. And uh, this kit came from uh, Evan X. They were very kind to send it to me here for a review to check out on the car. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I do believe, and I will check hopefully by the time this video comes out, that they're going to make a version of this for the Model 3 as well. And if you remember that the, the uh, video that Ken and I did, we showed that the Model 3 has a different license plate uh, holder that goes on the front of the car where it's stuck on with 3M tape which is the automotive tape that everybody uses to stick on emblems and sometimes some exterior trim. So it's very strong, but the Model 3 doesn't require any drilling into the bumper. And of course, with my car, I didn't want to do that. So this is why I've got this kit. So we're going to attempt to install this. Uh, we finally got a little bit of a, a lift in the temperature here. It's only about uh, negative five out. So for us Canadians, whoosh, that's t-shirt weather. So uh, let's uh, have a look and see how this goes on in the front of the car. Now the way the unit installs is, if you can see here on the front of the car, and the Model 3 has this as well, is you have these little louvers in here, and there's a bracket that goes into the back, and then the other bracket mounts onto there. And that way is you're not having to drill into the front of your precious bumper, and uh, that way is you're legal in the provinces or the states that uh, require front license plates as much as I hate them. All right, so we're told that you insert this into the front of the car on the top louver center between the two and it drops down. Uh, I just washed the car so there's a little bit of ice here. That looks okay. And then in here you have this Allen key and some bolts. So what you do is you take one of these bolts here, it has an Allen key end on the end, you put a lock washer on the end. It is not easy when it's cold out. The top screws go in quite easy. The top bottom ones are a little bit of on an angle here, so not 100% sure what's going on. I'll check it out here in a second. There we go. Just gotta pull the bracket towards you a little bit. And it should just slide in. That crunching noise you just heard are the uh, louvers, the active louvers. Uh, yeah, so those are the active louvers for the uh, battery heating and cooling heat exchanger in there. And they will uh, move up and down occasionally, seal things off. This, uh, this unit doesn't hurt anything about the car. Just designed to do this way. I will say this, in the winter months, you can expect quite a bit of uh, vampire drain if you don't leave the car plugged in. I've noticed quite a bit of range loss in the winter months. Uh, should improve, of course, in the summertime. Here we go. So hopefully you can see, there's the uh, two screws and the lock washers on that side, and two more right there. And you can see here the shutters are closed. Anyhow, so there you go, that's installed. And now I just have to put my license plate on the front and I'll do that next. All right, so you can see the plates installed. And here's the uh, view from the side. So you can see here, it doesn't even touch the bumper at all. It just kind of sticks out like that. So it makes cleaning uh, quite a bit easier. And again, there's the installation on the bottom. Anyway, so based on my experience with the Model 3, that uh, there is absolutely no reason they can't make a bracket like this. And like I said, uh, hopefully by the time you see this video, I'll have a positive 
acknowledgement that they're going to make one for the Model 3. So, anyways, I like it, and uh, normally the the uh, license plate would be much higher in here, so hopefully it has minimal impact. And again, it doesn't touch the louvers or anything like that. So, anyways, thumbs up. I like it, and uh, I'll let you know as soon as possible here uh, the situation with this uh, bracket for the Model 3. Thanks for watching.